She's wanted to play ever since she was a little girl, and now she's doing just that. Mary Cutter next on the Chris Top Program. If If you you would would like like to listen to the Chris Top Program, please press 1. But you're going to have to say 1 because we're not going to know what you press. CMA Fest 2019 is right around the, the corner. Chris Top program, June 6th, please 7th, and 8th, if live like interviews with your favorite program, independent please. artist. June 9th, the official WABA Award Ceremony. Just stop by the Commodore Grill Holiday Inn Vanderbilt in Nashville, Tennessee. Get some red carpet pictures courtesy of Magnolia Emporium. Come WABA with the Chris Top program June 6th through the 9th at the 2019 CMA Fest. For a complete schedule of events, go to ChrisTopProgram.com or check us out on Facebook at the Chris Top Program. Let's work on being awesome together. Thank you. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can hear the tech in the Chris Top Program. I am the one and only Chris Top. The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish home studio here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the heck are you doing, world? You know, and this is normally where Allie would jump in and just scream in my ear, but she lost her voice today, so she can't really do much screaming. So Mm -hmm. she's going to be kind of taking it easy and just not being in here and just coughing and stuff like that. So y'all keep Allie in your thoughts, you know, pray for her if that's what you do, because she's going to be better and she'll be back by next week and she'll terrorize me then. But anyway, (laughs) uh, Mary Cutter, I am super excited you are here. I'm super excited to be here. Dude, are you really? really, It was an hour drive. Are but you know, it was worth every minute of it. And the whole time I'm driving, it was so pretty outside. Yeah, yeah. And I was just thinking, this is going to be cool. Yeah, this, does it make you want to come back to Clarksville more often and just it hang? It does. It really does. Now, before you go back home, you need to, like, you're athletic. I know you work out all the time, right? A little bit. I, I, try to work you off, little bit. I try to uh, work out the tacos or work off the tacos, I guess. Yeah, I, I saw that say. post. You were like, did you eat Taco Bell last night? Oh, yeah, honey. It was so good. <laughs> Oh, I was so excited. I just have been craving Taco Bell. Now, is that like a tradition? Do you eat Taco Bell after after every show? Or is that That's like how a thing? it started. You know, yeah. um, there's not a lot of restaurants open really late, right? Yeah, you yeah. Know? So that I started, or Waffle House. Yeah. yeah. And um, so I just started eating there. Then I got addicted. I swear there's something in that food, but I love it. <laughs> Where did you play last? <laughs> was it last night you had a show? Yeah, it was in Nashville. It was a benefit concert for Instruments okay. for Education. And it was at the Live Oak, downtown Asheville. Okay, now you do a lot of like benefit fundraiser type mm-hmm. things. Yeah, I mean, like, why not? You know, you use your music to help other people. Sure, you know, sure. Truly. And I love that about you, and I know it's sincere, too. You don't just do it to get likes. And I right. get that vibe from you that it's sincere, and you, you seem like a real person. Well, I try which to is be good, real. Which is good, because... Thanks. People can just pick up on that stuff so quick these days. Like, if you're mm-hmm. on social networks and you're not legit, you're not, like, sincere... I don't think people pay attention to you. I think they just lose interest. But I mean, yeah. you've got a big following on Instagram and, and all those like, Man, crazy places. I love all the crazy places. They're really yeah. fun. And you know what's really cool? Well, for one thing, we never would have met if it yeah, hadn't been through there, right? And that's the way it is with a lot of stuff. You know, we're so lucky that, you know, uh, we get to meet people online. And that sounds so creepy. You know, it sounds like almost like stranger danger. But it's really cool. I haven't had any bad experiences. I mean, there's folks all across the world that are awesome. They love music. And, sure. And I think they enjoy following different people's journeys, you know, and whatever their passion is. You know, in, in my case, it's with music and tacos. 
Music. Well, that's a great combination. Oh, <laughs> isn't it though? Isn't it though? Okay, now you you um, have been, I guess, interested in singing your whole entire life. I, I was, yeah. Um, now I wasn't one of those gals that my folks had me in pageants or talent contests from a little kid or anything like that. I had a very normal childhood. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I didn't even realize that till I moved to Nashville. And so many kiddos down here, you know, they've been doing it since they're like three years old or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but I started singing in church, and then I was really active in 4-H. And I was doing their talent shows. Those are fun. And uh, all about that 4-H Leaf collection, though. I did not win that. And I was I really what? worked hard. Oh, I know. man. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. I'm still trying to get over it. But, you know, 4-H was great. Sure. <laughs> and it just kind of grew from there. I've been in Nashville for about a year and a half now. Now, why, why did you move? Did you move to Nashville to pursue music? Or did music find you in Nashville? You know what? It's kind of crazy. I have mad respect for you for what you do. And I don't know if you knew this or not, but before I moved to town, to Nashville, I had a TV radio right outside of Louisville, Kentucky. I wasn't a DJ, Mm -hmm. uh, but I had a weekly show where I would interview artists. They'd perform. Kind of similar to what you do, um, Mm -hmm. but right outside of Louisville. And um, I really wanted it to be an awesome show. I would just scour the internet for good talent, like, I'm sure you do. You have sure. great talent. I see the folks on the wall. Well, you know, they come to me now. Really. Uh, well, I, okay. I'd say that is true, actually, <laughs> 100%. And anyway, so I'd bring up a lot of folks from Nashville and up to the studio in Kentucky. And um, what started happening was uh, they'd asked to write. So I started driving back and forth. It's like two and a half hours where I'm from, which isn't far. Mm-hmm. Uh, but basically, I was down in Nashville more than I was up in Kentucky. And I thought, Hold on. Let's what am think I doing? about it. What am I doing? So, I mean, it was a big leap of faith. You know, I was a big fish in a very small puddle. Yeah, and man. <laughs> went down to the ocean of Nashville where there's thousands of people. They're super talented. And, I mean, it's really been a crazy ride. It's awesome. Now, when you first get to Nashville, how intimidating is it? Because, I mean, you are beautiful. You are talented. You know, all those things. But when you come to Nashville, there are so many people yes. that are beautiful and oh, are talented. Everyone's beautiful and talented. And yeah. You know, I remember once, right after I moved to town, I was at a club. There was a show going on. I just looked around. I was like, oh, my gosh. It looks like I'm, like, in a movie scene. Everyone's just like, they don't even look real. And, you know, the thing is, it's like we were talking before we went on air, you know. I mean, I love all the unhealthy food. I'm all about that life. I probably shouldn't be, but I am. But people down there, they take their... to you one of these days, I mean, Mary Cutter. I, I know I'm going to have to, like, slow it down and speed it up on the treadmill. But <laughs> don't say that. It's probably I'm, true, I'm though. Just, I'm just, you know, <laughs> you, being you your say, friend. You, yeah, I, I get that. And, you know... Uh, also, you know, these folks, you know, like I was saying, so many folks, they've been doing it forever, you know, so, but I don't know if it was really intimidating so much as to the fact that it hit me very quickly that if I wanted to be successful now in Nashville, you couldn't just be a pretty girl up on the stage singing, okay, and you can't just write good songs either, because that's all over the place. There's good songs every day that are written. Dude, people so you, that cut your hair, that flip your burgers, that yep. wait on your table, that wash your car, they can mm-hmm. all sing and play the guitar. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I think you have to create doors for yourself. And um, mm-hmm. I basically use like the, the show hosting experience. Um, I started a writer's night, then another one, OMG, I'm a songwriter. Okay. And um, in like 10 months, uh, we had right under 500 different guests play the show. And now we've um, expanded. We have a podcast that's weekly uh, with Manny Rothrock. We have different articles that are written by artists. and uh, You're going to have to send me those links. I can c- help promote that stuff. Honey, I will. Yeah. I will. Uh, Manny kills it. And Autumn, she does our um, write-ups about different artists around town. And, and with our live shows, we've shifted from being like a weekly writer's night to benefit concerts. Like last night was a oh, benefit how concert. how cool is that? And yeah. you know, it is really cool because like we get to partner with different nonprofits that we believe in most of them are music related not all of them though uh like last night they literally get instruments to inner city kids that can't afford them that's literally it's super that's simple beautiful. and it's beautiful super, yeah it's beautiful and there was a fella there last night that gave two guitars to instruments for education and one of them was his first guitar and i thought you know what that's pretty awesome like his first guitar will be someone else's first guitar which yeah. I don't know, it's kind of cool. They just put like a weird feeling in my stomach. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> it just, yeah, I kind of got chills. And you know, it's also <laughs> cool is how we got several sponsors just for last night and they were super generous. They donated money and stuff to Instruments money for Education. Money and stuff is always money great and for stuff, that. Money and stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and each month we're going to be doing different charity work with OMG. And from the get-go, um, OMG, I'm a songwriter, is basically a platform to support writers and give them exposure. And you know, mm-hmm. what better way 
to give positive exposure to songwriters than sure. benefit concerts. Absolutely. Are, are you going to be doing anything with that at CMA Fest this year? Maybe? You know what? I actually had a meeting this morning with a gal um, who was talking to me about some stuff about that. So it's very possible. Now, how, many, awesome. how many people do you have, like, uh, I don't know what you would call it, like, on the board with you or, like, that, that help you with this? Like, how many people are involved? Other um, I guess there's, um, I guess there's, like, four of us. <clears throat> and it's just kind of grown. What's, what's happened is it's really been cool. And, like, the last couple months, like, Manny, for example, he's great with radio stuff. He has a background with that. And um, we sat down. And he was like, I really would love to do, like, a podcast. So we did that, you know? Mm -hmm. Basically, his full reign, you know? We talk about the guests that we're going to have on. Like, we had the founder of Instruments for Education on to coincide with this event yesterday. Yep. Okay. But for the most part, it's free reign for him. Um, Autumn approached us. She's graduating from Belmont this weekend. Obviously, very smart gal. And she had experience with writing articles. And so it's like, it keeps on growing. And I think it's going to keep on doing that because it's not really... Um, Anything other than being a platform that's helping writers in the music community. That's exciting. It's, it's nice it when you exciting. can do something that you love and then do some good for some people, too, mm. I think. Well, you know what? I heard, I don't know if you're religious or not, but I heard this sermon right after Thanksgiving this past uh, year. And um, the preacher was talking about it. This is something that stuck with me. Uh, he was saying that, you know, so many times we think, well, whenever I have more money or I have more of a standing or prestige, I'll be able to help people yeah is it no you're going to do exactly what you're doing now but on a bigger scale and i thought hmm interesting i thought that might be kind of true you know not it always but you, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah it hit home yeah. and i was like you know how can we make omg because at that time we were not doing these other things it was just the weekly live show and we were doing you know it was doing great we had a lot of great talent obviously it's in nashville lots of great talent sure um so we basically just expanded we keep on doing that yeah that's just exciting stuff you're going to have to it's come like, down sometime. I, I'm going show. to totally have to. And if you guys figure out what you're going to do at CMA Fest, I mean, if you want to bring a few of your artists over, I'm sure we could probably work out something, some kind of that a time cool. slot. That could be really yeah, cool. Yeah, because I'm, I'm set up over at uh, the outside the Commodore in the Holiday Inn yeah. uh, all four days. Awesome. Um, yeah, you're going to be busy, honey. Oh, dude. I've got 26 artists lined up to come oh, in and gosh. interview. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. awesome. I'm the shiznit. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. But but what I can do, though, is like at the end, uh, I could always pencil in somebody else. Possibly. That could be so, killer. Yeah. We'll talk. We're yeah. buddies. We we'll, got each other's numbers. We're tight now. We are tight. We're tight. We got this. We got this. So you've got some songs that you're going to play for me today. Yes, honey. I've been doing a lot of writing and um, been writing some stuff I really now, believe in. Do you write in. solo or do you write Do you write with other people? Or I do how a mix of both. I do a mix okay. of both. Um, I write all the time, though. Like it's. Nonstop. Literally nonstop. Nonstop writing, performing, and Taco Bell. Yes. It's all fueled by tacos. <laughs> all fueled. Yeah. But you know, what better way? And you know, if you think about it, how genius is it? Whoever thought of tacos, the first, like, I mean, really, you have to think of Someone came up with the concept of tacos. <laughs> That's you know, true. The yeah. tortilla, the yep. meat, the cheese, lettuce. It just all fits right in there. It's and phenomenal. It's, it's amazing how that works. And it's so compact. You know, it's so <laughs> it really easy. Is. You just eat it with your hands. It's great. And they don't seem too big either. So it's like no. if you eat more than one, you don't feel guilty about it. That's, that's a really good point. You. That is how they get you. That's how they get you. you know, before you know it, you've had like six. And you you're know like, what's Dude. big now are these lettuce tacos. I haven't tried those. It like just, seems just like, wrapped in lettuce? Yeah. Just I don't know about that. I, and that's how I feel. And, yeah. I, I, you know, once again, you know, the healthy people down in Nashville, they tend to do that more. Yeah. You know, I've had some of these taco meetings, you know, meetings over tacos. And they're getting those. I mean, maybe I should try it with my See, ratio no, that's, taco. that's what know. they do on Instagram but like when they're alone they eat the regular taco <laughs> and they're popping the Oreos too man yeah. I can eat me some Oreos oh honey the double stuff <laughs> what are you going to sing for me first Mary Cutter well you know what I'll do a song called Never Prayed and it's about how um, sometimes uh, the best things that we find in life uh, maybe the, we weren't even looking for them Very, now where did this come from where would this song come from just life okay I'm ready all right, honey. You're my blue-collared angel. Can't tell why we go so well. You're a Friday natural cry. Don't know where we're headed, but I'm holding tight. Holy jeans must be something in your Mississippi draw. Get me all hung over on it. This is right. Yeah. Baby, no, it's right. I made a sinner and a saint. Or maybe we don't make sense. But maybe that's our miracle. I was always afraid to go against the grain. 
never cussed on a Sunday, but I'm going where I've never been. I'm breaking every single rule. We're different, but we love the same. The answer to the prayer I never prayed. Ain't the turn on your boots, how you throw back a few, you're fishing and you're hunting, honey, it ain't nothing I can explain. Guess you're a little bit of Wild West Wayne. And baby, you got me thinking heaven might be just three miles down the street. Over at your place, got a taste of grace. Mm. When you're kissing my face, the sinner and the saint. Oh, maybe we don't make sense But maybe that's our miracle I was always afraid to go against the grain Never cussed on a Sunday But I'm going where i never been I'm breaking every single rule We're different, but we love the same The answer to the prayer I never prayed Oh, I'm fine in faith In your arms I feel so safe I thank God that he made The sinner and the saint Maybe we don't make sense But maybe that's our miracle I was always afraid to go against the grain But I'm going where I've never been and I break every single rule, we're different, but we love the same. The answer to the prayer I never prayed. Oh, the prayer I never prayed. Boom. That was just so pretty. Thank you. How, how important is your faith to you? It's very important to me. Um, I think that, you know, at the end of the day, like, I mean, it doesn't matter how how big you get. I mean, think about, like, the Beatles, for example. Mm -hmm. They are gone now. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, folks move on. Um, at the end of the day, it's kind of like, I don't know. You got to think, you know, much more long term than the now. And I think, you know, your faith kind of goes into that. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Patrick wants to know uh, if you're wearing that UK hat. <gasps> yes, I am, Patrick. <laughs> I love UK, and I'm still sore about us not getting as far as we should have. Yeah, uh, you know, I know, I know nothing about sports, nothing whatsoever. I know who UK is. That's good. Yeah, did I lose cool points? No, you did. It's okay if I did. I get, I'm used to it. I mean, you're not, you're not from Kentucky, right? <laughs> sure, yeah, but I mean, I'm close enough though. I mean, there are lots of UK fans around here. I, I hear people talking about it all the time. I just don't know what they're talking about. I mean, where yeah. I'm from. They'll cancel church services for UK games. <laughs> That's a big deal. It is a big deal where I'm from. Right. Where it's just churches and a post office. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you I have mean, a red light? Uh, we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. I remember, though, whenever we got McDonald's. Oh, that was, was a big day. so exciting. Yeah. Did they, like, let school out <laughs> earlier? <laughs> I feel like it was the weekend when it opened, oh, ironically. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. But I remember, like, I mean, it was packed. Yeah? Like, obviously. It was a big, big deal. It's a very big deal. <laughs> All right. So, how's the love life? It's great. Yeah. Do you are you dating anybody or what? What's going on? No. Even better than that, I'm married. And I didn't even I, know that. And you know what? I have no idea. Yeah. Well, you know, he he keeps on keeps everything on the DL. He's he's a very okay. smart feller. Um, he's <laughs> but he doesn't he doesn't <laughs> like attention, which is probably good because obviously okay. I love it. But we met in preschool. And wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Know, Did right? you just say you met in preschool? We met in preschool. We go way back, honey. Wow. Like, like way back. Wow. Forget okay. high school sweethearts. Now, we weren't dating back Dude. in preschool, but, you know, we, we knew each other, and we right. were friends. And our so you know everything about each other. God, probably. I mean, to be honest, I mean, we Holy know. Holy cow. Like, literally, our family farms are five miles apart in my hometown, and um, he's awesome. And uh, we work together with OMG. He's um, in business. Uh, he does accounting, but he's very passionate about the music industry. So, like, sure, it's kind of like a definite. He'll be working full blown in the music industry. Although, like, 
He's kind of the brains behind everything. <laughs> I'll be really honest with you. I wish he could come today. Yeah, why but, didn't you know, he? Because he's working. What the crap is wrong with him? Making the money. Okay. You know how it okay. goes. I got it. But yeah, um, he's awesome. And it's really great, you know, having like that support person in your life. I mean, it's the same thing with you. Sure. You're creative. I mean, you may not be strumming the guitar, but you're mm. creative. And I mean, it makes a world's difference having mm. someone that's got your back. And it, Absolutely. It you got to have that. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't have anything to do with your career of sorts, you know, but it's just, they care about you as a person and it's even better when they're super supportive of your passions. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I have a gift to open. You do have a gift yes, to open. I'm open kind it. of excited. Open Sesame. You handed it to me and it's kind of heavy because like I had a coffee in one hand and I was kind of afraid. Kind of <sighs> I'm it. sorry. There's not a block of gold in there. Okay. I so wish I could have given you that. This is a Facebook live and Chris top program live open. So I'm not faking it because they can see me. I'm not like just crumbling paper. and like, All about that Dollar General bag life. Ooh, what, ooh, Very this classy. Is heavy. This is so heavy. Oh, that's, you know what? Allie is going to appreciate this because she, she like drinks mugs? the heck out of coffee. Good. Yes, yeah, she Isn't does. Isn't it cool looking? It's very unisex. It's got unisex. like the little pixie sticks in it. Yes, and there's more candy involved. Okay, we're just keeping, I mean, I there's can't just bring so much tacos. Candy. But see, I'm giving, you, I'm giving you food too, though, today. You're going like to take some off. home. See, you and your husband can have bagels tonight. Sounds great. Yeah. I have my first bagel in Nashville. I've got cookies, too, in there. I love cookies. I did not have my first cookie in Nashville, yeah. though. I've been eating cookies for a while now. Yeah. Have you ever had a, a kitchen sink cookie from Panera Bread? You no, know what I'm talking a about? A kitchen so sink cookie? What's that? Dude, it's amazing. I'm not going to tell you how many calories are in it. I don't care. I'm really not a person that's into okay, that. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Oh, okay, you can tell I'm me. I'm going to tell you. Okay, the cookie's <laughs> like this big. Ooh, okay? It's all like, right. It's like that big. It's got like caramel, chocolate, salt, mm. um, just all that gooey stuff in it. Everything but the kitchen sink, it sounds like. I think that's why they call it that. Okay, got you. 800 calories in one cookie. Or is it 800 units of amazingness in one cookie? Yeah, you can look at it like that too if you, you know want. <laughs> I got something else in my bag. Now, what is this? This is, so we got a partnership with uh, Maker's Mark. What I thought is, it might be kind of cool. cool. I don't even know what this is, but it's cool looking. It's a fancy notebook. Probably the nicest notebook I've what? ever owned in my life. Um, you can make oh. notes of all your things. I know you are Dude, super busy. Look, yeah, look. You know? Let me open my drawer. Look, these are all like my notes for CMA Fest stuff. Oh, no. Put that in the notebook, yeah, mister. See, see, look, now I have a cool notebook to put this stuff in. <laughs> it will look very official. Can you on a red notebook? Yeah, it will. Oh. I'll look cool. I can't even get like a Chris Top Program sticker maybe and put it on, that would be so cool. on the back. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And it's got branded. a little pen with it, too. It's all ready to go. Thank you so much. This well, was so thank nice. You. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. And yeah. I know, like, once again, there's so many different people you could have on the show, and I appreciate being one of the guests. Well, always. See, like like we said, you're tight now. So we tight. anytime anything exciting happens, anytime you're ready to release a single or something great happens, whatever, you just let me know, and then we'll put you back. Sounds good, you're honey. Here. It's done. That it's sounds done great. We only got to do one picture on the wall, though. Maybe That's you could okay. autograph it every time you come. We could do that. <laughs> we could try that one. I don't know. That could be exciting. I need to work on the autograph signature. It looks like I'm in fourth grade still practicing cursive. I mean, I'm not mad about it or anything. But <laughs> that like, looks good. It's pretty. Well. How you like my picture of you? I love it. I think yeah. it actually, yeah, I think that looks great. I'm aspiring to look like that in life. The last <laughs> game was strong. Whenever I saw that on Instagram, I was like, man, he's a good artist. I know, right? Yeah, I put a lot of time into you that. You made my eyes pop. A lot of work. I did. I love it. I was working on that. I was I working it. hard You're on really it. You're really good at art. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's impressive. Yep, I know. I know. Uh, okay, so if you uh, could have, okay, I'm going to throw this question out there at you. Throw it out. Okay, it's a, it's a crazy one. I love crazy. You got five minutes. All right. You got five minutes to sit down and have a cup of coffee with anybody. This mm. could be anybody living, anybody dead. Doesn't matter throughout history. Who would this person mm. be? And you've only got Ooh. five minutes. Oh, just five. That's man, it. I'm obsessed with Elvis. He's my uh, screensaver. Elvis is the man, huh? Look at that. And oh. it's young Elvis. Do you like old Elvis too? I like both. Elvis like, can do no wrong. Okay. Okay. I love Elvis. <laughs> do you ever cover some Elvis songs? Oh, man. Sure yeah. I Can't yeah. Fall in Love is one of my favorites. Yeah? I love that song. <laughs> and I think he was just kind of the epitome of like, he had it all. The whole package. You just opened up a floodgate. Honey. He was a good looking man. He was gorgeous. Yeah. Phenomenal voice. His stage presence was incredible. And he also had a great ear for songs. Okay. You know? And yeah. I feel like, I mean, like, I know like, there's some scandalousness with like uh, him taking writer credits on some stuff, but that a oh, scandal with everybody. He, yes. He's talented. Yes. Yeah. He was so just incredible. I would love to sit down with him. Who do you think made a bigger? Okay, this is 
totally an opinionated question. Ooh, I knew, I know this okay. Was be, go for it. Okay, so who had a bigger impact, you think, on rock and roll? Would it be Elvis or would it be the Beatles? Um, I think Elvis uh, was kind of the gap between what mm-hmm. was and what became. I think the Beatles probably had a more lasting impact. I think that's a great answer. Uh, I, I think, think that's a great answer. Thank yeah, you. I think a lot of a lot of bands today are probably inspired by the Beatles. Yes. But I kind of wonder if the Beatles would have had that platform had it not been for Elvis first. Exactly. And because you think about what was going on before Elvis. Oh. You're bringing out the nerd in me, and I love it. Anyway, um, he he really changed the game. Like you think sure. about it, it's just like, ooh, I like that question. Yeah, but that, I, I stick by my answer. Yeah. Do you have uh, Do you have moves like Elvis? Like when you're on stage doing stuff? I can. Yeah. Maybe I can we can rock get some and roll. pictures later with you, like <laughs> some Elvis moves. I would love. I saw that. you I would doing just... some dancing. Um, dancing. I think fun. in a video. Or I'm something. not very good at dancing, but I, I love was going to say dance. you're not very good, but it was it was still. <laughs> It was, I'm not very good, it but was know, entertaining. I'm passionate about it. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. You just got to dance like there's nobody watching. <laughs> for yeah. sure. And I'm always hoping that there is no one watching in these situations. Uh, hopefully you know, not. So, so what's your dream stage? My dream stage? Yep. Oh, it'd be the White House. The White House? I want to play at the White House. I don't care who's president I when I'm there. I think you're the first person to ever say that. The White House. Man, yeah. I just... Like 500 I, guests. I think you're probably well, the first one. cool. Yeah. Wow. I mean, obviously, the opera would be phenomenal. And obviously, sure. like, yeah. whatever. I'm totally whatever. going to other places. The Ryman? The, the yeah, Ryman the Ryman would, would be incredible. Would, would yeah, be good. it'd yeah. be incredible. And, so if um, somebody said, okay, okay, we're going to let, Mary, we're going to let you play at either the White House or we're going to let you play at the Ryman and the Grand Ole Opry, you'd still pick the White House. I mean, if it was a legit show, yeah. Yeah. That's so lasting. Laura, I guess so. I'm yeah. so. I love. I love our country. I'm extremely patriotic. Sure. Okay. Uh, and I think that there's so much history there. And I, you know, the thing is, it's kind of interesting how um, things that didn't seem attainable years ago seem very attainable now. Uh, I have a lot of friends that play the Opry, like a lot of friends. And I'm not saying. Like, do you ever get me. backstage passes? I never have asked, and I'm kind of tempted Dude, to. Well, I was with one of my best friends <laughs> from Kentucky the other day, and I was telling her, just like, there was a friend that just played, and she was like, yeah. well, why don't you go backstage? Why don't you, why don't you do that? I was like, I just didn't think to. Okay. So you need to follow up, Mary. Mary, do Mary, it. Mary, you, you got to ask, like, next time one of your friends plays, you got to ask. <laughs> you just got to. Because see, I'll see before it. you leave today, well, I'm just going to ask you now. Like, so when you hit that pinnacle of success, and you're singing at the Opry or the White uh-huh. House, well, maybe you can't get me into the White House, but... The Ryman, any of these places, I want backstage passes. It's and done. I'm asking you right now. It's done, Chris. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's good. Done. So see, see how you do it. It's all settled. It's done. And then when you do play there, you're going to be like, "Oh crap, man! I got to invite Chris Top because he asked me, and it's recorded." <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's how you do it. I'm down. So, okay. And, and I need to take notes on the way to ask. So what Let's I want you it. to do though is when you end up backstage at, at one of your friends' shows, I want you to like Instagram light. What do they call it? Instagram. Oh, like uh, Instagram Live. It's Instagram Live. Okay, is that what they call it? Yeah. Okay, so Instagram Live. It that way, you know, I know that you've succeeded. <sighs> yeah, and tag me in it. It's so, the goals. Yeah. Let's we'll yeah. make it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm just doing that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> but it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I think. Yeah. So, so you write every single day of the week. Well, right? no? yeah, usually six days a week, um, you okay. know, uh, and normally multiple rights a day. I was supposed to have a right this morning, got canceled, I have a right tonight. Um, usually, I'm kind of like in this mode where I like to do back-to-back rights, two rights a day, sometimes three. Um, do you get burnt out ever? Like when it comes around to like the third one, you're like, oh, dude, why did I even do this? Because I just want to go watch Netflix. I'm obsessed with working. It's probably yeah. a problem, to be totally honest. It but, might be um, a problem. Yeah. <laughs> that in tacos is pretty like, linear <laughs> with me in my life. But, Do you have a therapist uh, or is music your therapist? It's probably music. Yeah, I don't okay. have a, a you know legit one, no. Okay. Okay. Um, although that could be really fun laying on the couch and talking. It I'm not going to lie. I, I've never done you it, might but be able I to really know cool. I bet you could. Yeah. yeah anyway, um, but no, it's, it's very energizing because you, you know what's really cool about co writing? You never know what song you're going to write in that room. Like, you never know. Yeah. You might wake up. And like, there's been days where like maybe my first try is like this really sappy love song, and the next one's like this, I don't know, like, boom song. Yeah, yeah. Total opposite. You know, you just never know. And I mean, well, I mean, you go in there with one idea, and it's going in one direction, and then somebody else throws something else in the mix, and you're like, oh mm-hmm. yeah, and then before 100%. you know it, it's a different song. One hundred percent. And I'm kind of uh, one of those people that I love to prepare, prepare, prepare. And I'm getting places early. That's why I was like, ah, this morning or this afternoon, not being here early. Mary um, was five minutes late. I was five minutes late. And like, 
I'm always early to things, but it's okay. It's okay. We all had those moments. But anyway. I still heart you. <laughs> you still heart me. Thank you. Yes. And so I was actually, while I was driving though, I was thinking of ideas for my rights later. And I was just writing them down. Don't do that while you're driving. I know. That's probably not good. You need to get one of those little apps where you can like just talk in your phone. That could be cool. That, that could be way, much more just, safe. Yes. Yeah, and, and I think <laughs> that you can put like your headphone things on and just like put it in. You could just, yeah. And just keep driving. That sounds good. Yeah, do that. Sounds a lot more That's safe. That's something else I want you to work on, too. <laughs> okay, so we got the, the Opry backstage passes and then like some device and, where you and, don't have and to. And slow down yeah. on the tacos. Well, I mean, you're okay right now. But I, I'm just saying, like, maybe later it's going to catch up. So you just. <laughs> that's going to be sad, though. You got to watch it, man. It's almost like you got to live it up while you can. Yeah, that's very true. That's very, very true. What else are you going to sing for me today? Hmm. What else am I going to sing? Let's. Now, did you write. You wrote all these songs that you're singing today? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to do something really country. It's called Bonfire. Oh, and you let me sound really country sometimes. Well, you know it's weird? <laughs> Certain words come out more country oh, than others. Oh, sound really country. Isn't that weird? Like, and I don't know what it is. Actually, I try to tone it down because you're in the city no, life. No, it's perfect. You know what I mean? It's perfect. But anyway, I wrote yeah. this song um, with two buddies of mine. And uh, I remember it was a Friday night right, which you would think would be like not effective at all. You know, most people sure. just clock out on Fridays. Fridays aren't good days for co-writing usually because yep, yep. people are just like, they're thinking about hitting up the lake or leaving town or whatever. Right. But that night we went over to Paul's and I remember it was pouring. I mean, pouring in torrents. Okay. And Paul overlooks the city as a gorgeous view. And it was just pouring, raining cats and dogs. And he was like, I've got this idea. And he had this lyric. And it was basically done, to be honest. He's a lyricist that will literally, he will write full lyrics while in line at Chipotle, while at work, whatever. And he'll send them to his co-writers. And we ended up changing some of the lyrics or whatever, but uh, we made it kind of a rocking song. I played it last night, full band, first time ever um, last night at the show. Oh, I bet you so much fun with the full and band. I bet yes. you so much fun to watch. Oh, it's so much fun. Yeah. I have a blast because I get hopping. My mom always tells me not to hop around like a bunny rabbit. You know what I'm saying? But I still right. hop. But anyway, so this song, we're going to play the more chill version. <clears throat> it's called Bonfire. Middle of nowhere On a Friday night A bunch of friends underneath The country moonlight Piling up the wood Just so we can watch it burn down Things started heating up When you came around Stars in your eyes Shadows on your skin Kind of night I get lost in You got a fire Just like a flame Sparks fly, you say my name Temperature is rising, one look from your eyes And playing safe was over Moving in closer, just like the embers of our love Going higher, boy, you're burning me up At the bonfire Silver bullets, yeah, we're shooting them back. When you kiss me, everything changes just like a match. Dragging gasoline, we're sitting the night, blazing hot. Your lips hit me like a whiskey fireball shot. Stars in your eyes, shadows on your skin. Kind of night I get lost in. You got a fire, just like a flame. Sparks flying, you say my name Temperature is rising, one look from your eyes And plan safe was over Moving in closer, just like the embers of our love Going higher, boy, you're burning me up At the bonfire At the bonfire You got a fire, just like a flame Sparks flying, you say my name Temperature is rising, one look from your eyes And plan safe was over Moving in closer, just like the embers of our love Going higher, boy, you're burning me up At the bonfire 
At the bonfire At the bonfire You are just a badass. Oh, you're a I mean, badass. No one's ever told me that before. You really are, because like I mean, like when you my favorite part was when you broke it down and just stopped playing the guitar and just sang. That cool. was cool. That was Thanks. cool. That's when I think I officially became a fan. <gasps> I'm yeah. so glad you're a fan now. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm I'm kind of a fan of you. Now I'm kind of nervous around you, so I don't know. <laughs> I know. I know awkward person oh, thank goodness ever <laughs> it's so unfortunate so i Did, feel better now you know i'm five foot nine right yep. and well i don't know if you can tell people's heights whenever i walked in but <laughs> I'm, I'm five foot nine i've been this height size nine and a half shoe since i was in sixth grade holy cow think about that's that a long a time man. it's a very long time and you know it's kind of unfortunate i, I wasn't I mean, I wasn't unpopular. I mean, I was friends with everyone, but I was never the. Oh, cool you were like kid. a cheerleader or something, weren't you? I, no, what? I Come wasn't on. cool enough to be that. I was a band, honey. Were you like a band a, nerd? A band I was geek? such yeah. a yes, yeah. both. Okay, I played the flute, and then I was the field commander or the drum sergeant. Is that what other whatever people they call them? Yeah. I don't know. And we were state champions two years Look in a at row, you honey. Go. Oh, honey, I was really into it. <laughs> like I was so obsessed, and, you know. <laughs> I knew I didn't want to do that for a living, but I fell in love with like rhythm, especially whenever I was uh, being the field commander because I would direct, you know, the band, mm -hmm. the marching band, and uh, the pit section. That's the percussion, and then the drum line, of course. They were very, very uh, important with the role. The drum line's like, cool. It, it is cool, aren't they? It's pretty bad because I used um, to watch like videos, like just okay. the drum line. Yeah. Oh my gosh! So last weekend was the NFL draft yep. in Nashville. Yep. And anyway, so I was trying to get my walking on and my little run. Ooh, anyway, out <laughs> in Nashville, and I was like, I should go down there and see what's going on down the draft. So I'm on the on the walking bridge. That's what it's called, right? The walking bridge in Nashville. Something like that. Yeah. And um, I see all these fellers carrying these big drums. I'm like, what are they doing? Well. I walk past, not thinking anything of it. Then turn back around about 15 minutes later, walk back, you know, over yonder, and they're doing a full blown street performance, just a drum line. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, it was did so cool. Did you like cool. record any of it? I did record some of it. It was incredible. I need to see that sometime. I don't know if I saved it on my. I think I did. I know I posted on my stories. You're letting me down. It was incredible. I love like, that stuff. It was talkable so cool. fire sauce. It yeah. really was. And like, really? Just, and their showmanship was amazing. They did yeah. like moves and stuff while playing the drums. I was yeah. like, I'm So it's sure. come a long way then since you've done it or. They're keeping it hopping. I yeah. mean, you know, I mean, it's pretty competitive up in Kentucky. You know, I don't know how it is here in Tennessee. And that might have been a college band. They looked older than high yeah. school. I was impressed, though. Yeah. Well, that sounds cool. We got some more questions over here. Yeah. Uh, okay. I lost a couple of them. Katie earlier said that you were too cute and you <gasps> sound awesome. Oh, my gosh. Katie Thank said. you, Katie. And I think that's I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like that. And then Allie wanted to know what who your favorite president is, because we were talking about history or something, mm. and she said hers is Abraham Lincoln. You know what? Mine is probably Lincoln. I wish I had... You know what I wish would be really cool? <laughs> to, like, name some president no one's ever heard of. <laughs> sure, you can make one up. Most people probably aren't going to know. You know, I read this book um, a couple of years ago, Killing Lincoln. It was very yeah. interesting. Uh, it, if you haven't read it, Bill O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly mm -hmm. wrote it, yeah. And it's just like... It's straight up just like nonfiction, which might sound kind of boring, but like all the different um, intricacy. Ooh, I got to tell you this one thing. That was really cool. So the irony of it all. So, um, you know, Booth, the guy who. John Wilkes uh, Booth. Yes, yeah. the feller who shot Lincoln. Mm -hmm. His brother was in the Civil War, was a soldier, and he actually saved the life of Lincoln's son. Really? In this really like. The irony. This, the irony of it yeah. all, right? And I don't know if he knew who it was, but it like. It would have been cooler if he would have saved Lincoln's dad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have worked out, but I mean, I'm saying yeah, that would be like movie stuff right there. That really would have been. Yeah. And something else interesting was Booth had actually um, been having like an affair with kind of like the girlfriend of that same son. So, of course, that's not the reason he shot it's so Lincoln. so confusing. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's not the reason he shot Lincoln or anything, but it was really weird how, like, these little backstories. And um, I read, you know, I read a lot of history. I, I read a lot in general. Back to the nerdy hair yeah, flip. Yeah. Anyway. Now, um, do you really read or do you watch the History Channel? Because there's a difference. If oh, you're no, sitting I around watching the History Channel and eating tacos. I loved, <laughs> I love documentaries. And I just they finished cool. this book. Um, last week and I would have finished it sooner but I lost it and I couldn't find it anywhere I was almost done I love Chris. you I absolutely love and you and it's this really yeah. intense um, philosophy book uh -huh. and oh man like it was hard for me to read I'll be honest like the okay. reading level was sure. way up there yep. but I try to stick around 6th grade yeah 
That's where I like to stick around right. too. Sure. But this one was way up there, and it was called Chasing the Lion. It was phenomenal. But I found it in the back seat of my car last week, and it was black, and the um, the floorboard is black. That's what happened. But anyway, okay, okay. I well, I'm glad you it. found it. I am too. It was so, <laughs> I was literally like two chapters from being done. Do you oh, know that's so upsetting? frustrating. Yeah, I've had uh, I've yes. read uh, five books so far this year, which yeah. isn't that great, but it's better than nothing. Yep. Okay, so what are you watching on Netflix right now? You know what? I'm really also, don't judge me, <clears throat> but I also had Hulu recently as well. Okay. And I'm obsessed with Empire. And I got Hulu. I got Hulu just to watch Golden Girls. I own all the seasons. You on got DVD. Hulu to watch Golden Girls? Yes. That's so funny. I own all the DVDs, yeah. but some of them got scratched up. Sure. In the move or whatever. And yep. one of my discs has the subtitles that won't come off. It's really annoying. So okay. um, I got it literally just to watch Golden Girls. And, sure. Um, one night I was eating food and watching TV. And I was like, you know what? I just, I know all the episodes of Golden Girls so well. Like it's yep. embarrassing. Yeah. I mean, I could quote stuff. It's, it's bad. Okay. And actually something you said earlier really reminded me of a Golden Girls scene, but I did call you Probably out on it. Probably because I'm about that old. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love Golden Girls. <laughs> you don't even know. Do you ever watch Golden Girls? It's been a long time. It's, it's been a really so long time. It's yeah. Just, it's just classic. Yeah. Anyway, I started Empire. It's a little bit of a trashy show, but it's good. Sure. You know, whatever, whatever you're Kinda into. Kind of like House of Cards, which is on yeah. Netflix. Yeah. Um, it's you know the uh, my brain. It's really hard to turn it off. There's very few. You things just are a mile off. a minute, man. It's bad. Back it's to the bunny crazy. hopping, right? Do you ever sleep? Very little, about okay. three hours a night. Okay, that's about, and yeah. um. Anyway, I wish I didn't have to sleep at all. That'd be kind of exciting. Sure, sure. Uh, but anyway, fueled on tacos and caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but you know, a good TV show or movie. It can make me finally not think about work or music or yeah, whatever. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? You're just zoned in. Absolutely, absolutely. Who's on your playlist right now? Oh, man. I listen to a lot of different stuff. I've been listening to a lot of Dustin Lynch lately. And Aldi, mm. but you know what? Don't judge me. I would never judge you in 100 million years. Well, Elvis is, of course, my favorite artist. Sure. You know, but right gotcha. after that, right after that is Lil Wayne. Really? And Bozzy. Have you ever heard of Bozzy? That's quite the like difference, though. I don't know who Bozzy is. <sighs> Bozzy's a brand new artist. Um, okay. I mean, like, literally, he's had like one song on the radio. It went number one. It was called Mine. Uh, yeah. and it was a really interesting situation. He wrote that song at a pool party. <laughs> he, and he was at this pool party, and he literally heard the melody in his head, recorded it in his phone, finished the lyrics later, went number one. He's brand new, though. Brand new artist. I think the song came out like last year or something. Yeah. Does uh, he follow you on Twitter? Oh, I wish. Yeah. I want to meet Bozzy so bad. I'll have my people call him. Oh, we'll, please do. Yeah, please we'll do. Hook it up. And Little Wayne's incredible because I just love the wordplay and the internal rhymes. And of course, the rhythms are phenomenal. And I'm obsessed with rap music in general. Yeah, do you ever do any rapping yourself? And if you say yes, be careful. Well, no, I'm not very good at rapping. It sounds okay. like a basic white girl rapping, to be totally honest. Okay. I, I, I wish, you know, you know what I'm well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Why don't you work on your basic white girl rapping? <laughs> and then next time you're back on the show, we'll, we'll have rap? you do a little bit of it. Yeah. <gasps> Let's do it. Yeah. You know, it's the inflection. That's the hard. It's not the rhythm. You know how sure. like, rappers like, yeah. have the inflection down? Yep. That's the hard part. We'll just work on your inflection. I will. I will. That could be really cool. Yeah, we'll do that. And maybe we'll record it. <laughs> it could be and epic. maybe I'll play it again sometime. It could be epic. I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see uh, how that goes. If you could have any superhero power, what would that power be? Mm. And don't okay. Wait, okay. Don't pick flying. Just, uh, just don't. I, I wouldn't have picked that okay. one. I didn't think you would, but I, I just I, I'm heights. trying to be safe. I think it would be yeah. to be invisible. Now is that a perverted thing or is that like <laughs> no? Okay. No, I think it'd be really cool to like I don't know be able to like go places and like. I don't know, like, be a fly on the wall, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know. It's kind of a weird one. I kind of wish I kind of wish I had a cooler one. I should think about that answer. Yeah. But I think it's to be invisible. Okay. That could well, be really interesting. Well, if you think of a different one, just let me know. It's like the yeah. Harry Potter thing. You know how the invisibility like the cloak, cloak thing? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You could do all kinds of stuff. And, like, you would just learn so much. Because you could, like, yeah. go to top secret meetings. I don't you know. I mean, I guess you what could. Would yeah. What would, what would yours be? What would yours be? Okay. I would like to be able to shrink things with my eyes. Interesting. What would you shrink? Okay, think about this. Okay. I know that sounds just silly, but I hate taking out the garbage. Uh -huh. All right, so I can shrink my garbage, put it back in the garbage, <laughs> and never have to take out the garbage again. <laughs> now, now think about how that is going to save every landfill situation that the world's ever That's had. That's kind of genius. Yeah. I'm a little bit shook. Yeah, and think about, like, say you're moving. Mm -hmm. All your furniture goes into a shoebox. Well, let me ask you this, though. Yeah. Will that super power... Super I can reverse power, it. Oh, you can reverse yes. it. Okay. Yes. Wow. I'm shooketh. How yeah. interesting. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wow. I'm just... 
See, I've been asked that a million times. Yeah, so I, got I the, love, like, the I love answers. that you think. That's just thinking about something so different. Man, you'd be a great co-writer, right? You'd think exactly. About something yeah, just let me know sometime, and I could be a backup singer too. I mean, I'm. What about backup dancing? That's what I really need. That's what sure. I, my opening the job listing sure. is there. I need yeah. a backup dancer. Yeah, I'm your man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your man now. Okay, so we're out of time, but it's my show. So what I want to do is I want to sing one more because I love you so much. Ooh, is that okay? Yeah. Are you prepared for three? I'm so prepared. Okay. So, but before we do that, yeah. Uh, say I want to stalk you online. How do I do that? Oh yeah, um, I'm Mary Cutter, like you cut paper or an avocado. <laughs> um, I might have hand incident, which I know we don't have time I to see talk why about. People love you so much. You're so funny. <laughs> it's okay. no, it's just awkward humor. Okay. Uh, it's Cutter with a K. Right. You know, like you, you know, We're not with a C. Not with a C. Right. You know, I'm, I'm on everything, basically. What's your favorite platform? Oh man, probably I Instagram. I probably yeah. Instagram. I, I kind of overpost. It's so much fun though. Yeah. So Instagram, but I mean, do you pay attention to Facebook or Twitter? Or? I do. I do. Okay. I've just seen that like it's a little bit more hopping, like bunny rabbits over on Instagram. You know, it's, Somebody uh, mentioned you know. bunny rabbits in the... <gasps> Hopefully good things. I love rabbits. I don't know if they're my favorite animal. I don't know if I really have a favorite. What's your favorite animal? Oh, gosh. St. Bernard's. Oh, and I love how specific, not just dogs, St. Right. Bernard's. Right. Well, I, I have fond memories of an old St. Bernard that I used to have named Ginger when, when I was little. Yeah. But uh, Katie says, okay, this... Uh, this is a compliment for me here. Yeah. Katie says, Chris, you've already shrank yourself. You have the shrinking superpower uh, and all that hard work you've put into yourself. Katie, I freaking heart you. Thank you for, for saying I that. I want to start so saying sweet. I heart you to everything. That's really exciting. I heart you. Isn't it cute? It's really cute. Yeah. You sound very basic. You sound like we should be drinking caramel macchiatos from Starbucks and have like, yeah. I was about to say donuts, but donuts don't really necessarily. I heart go that with, idea. I heart that idea. <laughs> I heart that. I'm going to start doing that for the rest of the day. And my we'll have to get some selfies that, doing that, like, that. I heart that. Yes, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. You have. To, can you do a selfie and do that at the same time? I don't know. I feel like we can. We can somehow make something work. <laughs> we can do one together. <laughs> you should have wished for each, levitation, each so you can. <laughs> we can do the hands together. Yes. Would yeah. it be epic? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Now I got to ask you this awkward question. I love awkward so, questions. So okay. So we've already covered the fact that you're very very pretty. So, like, when you're up there performing and doing stuff, and I'm sure guys, like, hit on you all the time. I mean... You know what? The awkward thing is, more awkward than any of it is, I usually don't get it when people are hitting on me. <laughs> I think it's because I'm still the five foot nine, twelve 12-year-old in yep. sixth grade. Yep. Reading my English paper out loud that's, like, double the length of everyone else's because I got excited uh -huh. about writing. You know what I'm saying? I'm still that person. <laughs> I might be on stage with a guitar singing, but I'm still that girl. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, so Sorry, I mean, ask but, your question. My bad. No, I think that was kind of you. Kind of answered it. That's uh, <laughs> that's just fun. I mean, I like to I like to ask ask those questions. But I mean, your but your husband is okay with all that. Oh, is he's, he's awesome. good. He's so chill. But he's known you for your whole life. So literally. I mean, he knows. Literally. Did you guys yeah. go to prom together? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. all that stuff. It yeah. It was awesome. And how long have you been married? Did you I've tell me that? I've been married for. Um, hold on. It'll be five years in August. So Isn't that weird? That's great. That's wonderful. We've been together a long time. Yeah. Like literally like almost a, a decade. A long time. So, I mean, where, where's there a time babies. in your life, though? Because, I mean, I know you said you grew up together. and mm -hmm. But was there a time where one of you moved away for a, a, a long block of time or no? Well, we both went to different colleges. Okay. And so we had to do the little long distance thing. But, I mean, it's all relative, you know? I mean, people do much harder things think about someone that like goes to iraq or something and they're married and then i'll see someone for like nine months i mean you know it's all relative you know right i mean he's awesome though i mean he's my best friend uh we talk about everything like we work together on stuff um i'm very lucky mm -hmm. very lucky do you guys like ever fight about like the songs about music related stuff or are you pretty no, much on the same page we're pretty much on the same page um you, you probably fight about stupid stuff i bet the only thing we argue about and i'm being serious the only thing we argue about is i'm a neat freak he's messy and uh, well, that's a good mix though i guess so like and i'm messy compared to the rest of my family and my is this killing house, you right here how i just threw the paper on the it's okay it's <laughs> i was i was dusting the table before we started I thought, mary be classy don't do that i was gonna do that before you got here and i just didn't, no you're yeah. good well like where i come from like my folks house you can eat off the floor it would be yeah. sanitary like yeah. seriously they clean that much <laughs> And like, so they would freak out if they saw the apartment right now. Yep. But you know, um, that's really the only thing. I don't mm -hmm. know. I mean, that's, and I finally decided about a year ago, I thought, you know what, Mary, there's much bigger fish to fry. If that's his worst attribute. Then you got it messy, made. I got it made. You got yeah. it. You got it going so, like, on. You know, just, yeah. Just move on. 
Now, before we sing the last song, what's um, and, and this is a good question, I think, for a lot of other maybe independent artists that are watching or listening. Mm. Like, what's your biggest struggle um, as an independent artist? Mm. Oh, that's a good question. I think uh, I'll tell you what the answer I hear the most after you're done. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so like the suspense though is yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing is that you've got to think outside the box. That's what I think. Because, like like we said earlier, there's thousands of people down in Nashville. Everyone's mm-hmm. talented. Everyone's gorgeous. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, you've got to think visibility is super important or whatever. But And there's different routes to doing that. And you want that. to be invisible. How ironic. That is ironic. Yes. Ooh. But just at certain times. Just okay. at certain times. You know. Not all the time. Although, it would be nice. Cause I don't like going out with makeup and stuff. And it could just be, like, chill and no one would know. But sure. anyway. Yep. Anyway, um, I think it's literally thinking outside the box and just being smart about stuff. And I'm not saying I'm super smart, but I am saying that uh, I think that's probably the you know the biggest challenge, you know. But I think if you realize things and then you go about it, I don't know. It feels like it opens up doors. You got to create opportunities for yourself. No one's absolutely gonna, nobody's going to do it for you, man. No one's and nobody. they shouldn't. You yeah. know, nobody owes me anything. Hey, you didn't owe me this interview. There's plenty of other people you could have had on your show. You know, everyone, you know, and that's the way it is with everything, you know? I only pick people that are talented and people that are decent people, that are good people. Those are the types of people that I have on my show. Well, that's a lot sucked, for you. If you sucked, you wouldn't be here. Man, what a compliment. <laughs> if you didn't suck, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> I love it. Uh, the answer I hear the most is just uh, artists ha- are struggle the most just trying to get their name out there to new people. Mm. Um, you know, and with... All the social networks and all the ways to do it nowadays, it's its great. But, I mean, there's so many other people doing it. There's a lot of noise. Yeah. There's a lot of noise. Yes. So, like, once again, I think you got to think about different ways to do it, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, with OMG, you know, we had so many people just through that weekly show. I mean, just through that. OMG. <sighs> Yeah. Should have brought some bourbon. I'm proud of this. This is nice. Man, I hope. And I'm proud of this, too. I hope you yeah. organize. And I'm proud of this little ring yeah. pop. Yeah. You know, you should give That's this to your nice, wifey and be like, will, will you marry I'll be me? Like, I'll be like, this is what Mary brought us, and I'll show her these two things. <laughs> and then I'll just keep She'll the She'll be like, well, that's tacky. Just a bunch of, like, leftover candy. It looks like, <laughs> hey, I went a little bit crazy. I went to the store, and I just, I went crazy. I was with Matthew, my hubby. And he was like, are you probably Oh, you candy? told me his name. I wasn't even going to ask because you oh, said he likes so, to be private. Oh, he is super private. It's yeah. all What's good. What's his social security number? So, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I should probably know that, shouldn't I? Well, yeah, it's okay. Anyway, anyway, so uh, he was like, are you buying candy for yourself or for others? I was getting you know, all the good stuff. I didn't want right. to get chocolate. Though. I was afraid it might melt. So yeah. I hope you like the sugary hey, stuff. Hey, it's great. It's great. I actually, I really watch closely what I eat. But I mean, I'll hang on to it, and then one of these days, I'll probably eat some of it. And you can share but with other guests. I will. I will. I'll leave it on the. I'll leave it on the table, and I'll <laughs> offer them some candy. No shame, when honey. They, <laughs> and I respect. I respect. <laughs> I'll regift I, the candy. I creep your stuff too. Yep. Creeping's fun. It really sure. is. It's a whole new world now with Instagram. Absolutely. But anyway, um, I think it says a lot for you that like you have discipline. That's something like to be as healthy as you are. And like all the work that you do, that's discipline. I really do. I really do have discipline. I, respect that. I didn't know I had it up until a year ago. It's yeah. incredible. Yeah. I mean, it really is. Well, thank you. Pat yourself on the back. Thank you. I can reach I my back now. I would say go get tacos, but I can I reach really... my freaking back now. It's Kudos great. to you. It's great. That's incredible. All right, so we're going to sing one more song. Right. Uh, do you have a website? MaryCutter.com? Yeah, MaryCutter.com. K U T T E R. Perfect. All right, so they can go there and then get all your links, mm-hmm. all that good stuff. Yep, all okay. the good things. Okay. So what if they want to catch a live performance? Ooh, well, I know I'll be like posting, you know, stuff on the social media. I'm going to be gone down in Key West, Florida. I'm leaving on Wednesday morning, this upcoming Wednesday, whatever that date is, May 9th, May 8th, something uh-huh. like that. I think it's May 9th, but it could be the 8th. Okay. And there's some shows down there. If there's any folks down in Florida, there's that Key West Songwriters Festival I'm playing at. And then after that. You got a sweet that, gig, man. You just go down to Key West. Oh, some man. Shows. I'm so excited. Yeah. I've heard the food's really good down there. I love yeah. seafood. I do too. And, oh, man. Yeah. So, what's your favorite seafood? Oh. Hard one. You know, it's got to be like crab legs. Me and too. I, but see, I like shrimp and shrimp I like is great too. oysters and I like clam. I like it all. Dude, I it's really good. do. And yeah. you feel good after you eat it. Well, maybe if it's yeah. not deep fried, but man, it's good. Yeah. Anyway, um, the next Nashville show for any folks in the area will be May 21st. May and that's 21st. That's going to be at the listening room. And maybe man, I could write that in my notebook. 
You could. Yeah. Hey, honey, I expect to see all the organization. All the organization. Write the May 21st you know National hand, in my notebook. My handwriting is really bad. I know. We've already discussed this. But you can write it after the show. <laughs> I'll write um, after the show. Okay. But uh, Katie says, I'm so glad I caught you guys today, Chris. You seem to always uh, make me smile. And Mary, your energy is contagious. Oh, man. And you definitely just gained a fan. Thank you both for putting a big smile on my face today hey katie thanks for tuning in really appreciate it hope hope you enjoy and you like scallops, scallops. i'm like oh yep. man, those are good so you say Dude. scallops or you say scallops i say whatever mood i'm in Ooh, i like that scallops or scallops tomato tomato i i, I love it not confined i go both ways yeah i love it okay so what's the song so um this song is a song that i always think hmm, what key is this in <laughs> but it's, it's in this key it's called neon sign Neon and, sign. Uh, I wrote this a couple weeks ago with a couple of my buddies. So this is fresh. It's fresh. Have you played fresh it anywhere yet? I played it last night. Okay. Full band. So it's an almost debut here. Basically, yeah. Okay, it's first a basic little, debut. First little acoustic thing, though. Nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Broken yeah. down. And, yeah. And um, it was one of those examples where I had gotten, I was driving around, and I got the idea, and I jotted it down on my phone, and mm. had to write, and I was sitting on my um, kitchen floor. That's where I love to write. I love sitting on the floor. And, do you um, cook in the kitchen too? Do I cook you, in the do kitchen? Do you cook in the kitchen or do you just write? I do both. Okay, good. Are you a good cook? I eat a lot too. You're yeah, good cook? pretty good. Okay, so you should invite us over for dinner sometime. I'm totally down. Okay. We'll have tacos. My sure. tacos are on point. Sure. I can make I other stuff too. Actually, I got you. my spaghetti and meat sauce is pretty good too. Oh, that sounds good. I know. Anyway, <laughs> it does sound good, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I'm kind of a spaghetti snob though. Like, there's only, I, I just have a very high Do you bar. make your own spaghetti or sauce or? I make my own sauce. Yeah. And um, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. The Hobbs sisters said they make a good sauce. You know what? They Maybe are we really can have like people. a sauce off one day. I love it. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. It'd be no. awesome. Okay, you sing. Anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> so we were sitting on the floor. Well, I was sitting on the floor. They were sitting in the chairs like normal people. And I said the idea that, oh, we have to write this. So we wrote this song, and um, it goes like this. Bet you thought I'd race over to your place to come ask babe. If we're okay, no, and I ain't texting you no more. Always been my turn, and now it's yours. We're back and forth, see, sober off and on in this, on, on. Way too long, I'm where we met a couple years ago. If you want this to work, I know you'll show. Give me a neon sign if you want to know where to find me. Hang a left when you get a church stream. Hang of the bar makers making its mark on this heart of mine. We're about as gone as the bourbon in this bottle. Guess I'll know what's left tomorrow. I'll take what you got, so take your last shot. It's the last time. Give me a neon sign. Give me a neon sign I'm buzzing like the hot I can't last behind me Flashing back to what we used to be Remember making out in that corner booth Right over there's where I first said I love you My eyes are on the door I'm praying you're running We're worth fighting for You know I'll forgive I can't forget how I want you mine Having what you need Come to this dive Give me a neon sign If you want to know where to find me Hang a left When you get a church street Back or the bar makers Making its mark on this heart of mine we're about as gone as the bourbon in this bottle Guess I don't know what's left tomorrow I'll take what you got, so take your last shot It's the last time What better place than here For you not make it clear If we're a midnight glow that's out of shiner If nothing can ever put out our fire Give me a neon sign if you want to know where to find me. Hang a left when you get a church tree. Bag of the bar makers making its mark on this heart of mine. We're about as gone as the bourbon in this bottle. Guess I don't know what's left tomorrow. Take what you got, so take your last shot. It's the last time. Give me a neon sign. Oh, 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 give me a neon 
just the best ever. <laughs> I've got a button for that, but I always feel cheesy when I push that button. You have a very rich clap, though. Sure, Some people it's, are it's, like this. Sure. You're like, bom, bom, bom. Yeah, it's yeah. great. So you want guys like me in the audience? Basically, always. When, just a thousand of you. <laughs> just a thousand Chris Tops. That could be awesome. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to clone you. That needs to be the superpower. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's scary. That's really scary. <laughs> It has been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Gosh, this has been so much fun. Yeah. It's flown by. Yeah, I know. It goes by too You're fast. You're amazing. Well, thank you. You're so thank good you at for what that. you do. Thank you for that. Gosh, I'm, I'm going to have you on every week just for my self-esteem. I mean, I, mean, I think you're killing yep. it. And like we were talking about before, you're just so passionate about what you do. And it's really cool. And I think that's why you're flourishing. You are hashtag thriving. <laughs> All the thriving <laughs> going you. on. And I'm excited for you. And um, man, if there's anything I can do to help whenever you're down at CMA Fest, like... Sure. Even taco recommendations, where to go. I mean, just let me yeah. know. I'll hit you up. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll send somebody out for tacos one day. Man, and you never know. Good. You never know. We'll talk. Sounds we'll talk. Good, we'll talk about the CMA Fest. Awesome. Because I would Thank love you to see so you much. there. Yes. Yeah, if, if we can maybe work something out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I do appreciate everybody that listens. And uh, since we brought up CMA Fest, I do want to mention Magnolia Emporium because it'd be really, really hard for us to do what we do at CMA Fest without them, because they help us out with the red carpet, they help us out with the awards, with the t-shirts, all that cool stuff. Uh, cannot say enough good things about Randy over at Magnolia Emporium. Uh, CMA Fest, we're gonna be there June the 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. The first three days are gonna be interviews. Uh, the last day is going to be the prestigious WABA Awards, red carpet ceremony and all that stuff. So it's gonna be so, so much fun. Everybody's welcome to come and hang out for the, all the interviews. You can come and sit and listen to your favorite artists. They're going to play stuff live. It's really intimate. It's like picture yourself being here with me, me and Mary right now, and you're just hanging out. That's kind of what the CMA Fest is like over and over and over and over and Sounds over Sounds like and over fun again. to me. Yes, it's a great time. And then, of course, you can dress up nice Sunday night, come out for the Wabo Awards, get your... Red carpet pictures with your favorite artists, and afterwards you can get them again with the winners. Hopefully, it's the same. See where I'm going? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So it, it should be a lot of fun. So uh, come out and see us for that. And I do want to say thank you for listening on the Chris Top program. Thank you for listening on Spotify, on Spreaker, on Stitcher, on Player FM, all those places. iHeartRadio. I love you. I really, really do. I do not take any of you for granted because I know there's a million other things you could be doing, but you chose to listen to us. Makes me feel pretty darn good. So until we broadcast again, please remember this. Life is good. We're gone. And that's a wrap, kind of. Until, yep, hang on. See, I always mess this up. I never sound... Maybe a door things might be looking grim. I guess it's time